Good morning to all my dear students. In this video, I am going to give all the information about elementary and intermediate drawing grade exam. Before we begin, let's begin with a beautiful quote. Art gives us meaning and helps us understand our world. Yes. Since you all know elementary and intermediate grade exam is related to art. But do you think art only helps to get grace marks or only for the academic? No. It really improves our quality of life and makes us feel good. If you still have not done any kind of art, then you must try something new and find the difference between these two. Okay, so let's begin the introduction. So, who organized this exam or who conduct this exam? So these two exams are conducted by the Art Directorate of the Government of Maharashtra, Mumbai. So means what? All the procedure happens from there. Now how you will appear for this exam? First, you can meet your school art teacher, ask about these exams. So the first step is you can apply for this exam from the school itself. Suppose or in case if your school does not take admissions for this, so you can go even privately also. So the candidate can apply for this exam from both the sides, from even school and from even private classes and all. Secondly, who can appear for this exam yes anyone uh, most probably after seven standard you can apply but at any age you can give this exam but you can give this exam does not mean you can give this exam means both the exam at once no you can appear for this any one exam in one year Okay, means no candidate can appear for both the examinations in the same year. Please note of this that you cannot appear both the exams at the same year. If you are giving elementary this year, you have to give the intermediate next year. Now, suppose you have given elementary grade exam. You receive C grade and you are not at all satisfied with this C grade or maybe this happened with the intermediate grade exam also and you are not satisfied with your grade. It does not mean that you can again appear for this exam. So you have to keep this in mind that you have to when you are appearing for this exam you have to be prepared and then only you can take admission or give your name for the examination. Now when this exam uh, usually happen, so this exam is uh, most probably it happens in the month of September last week. It may little bit the dates may changes. So this happens most probably in the month of September last week. As I told you before also you can appear from your school. If school does not take any students, you can even appear from the private classes also. But it is always good to appear from school. Then secondly, what are the like what practice is needed for this exam? Yes, it is very important that suppose you are appearing for any kind of exams, you have to practice. This is art. This is not a theory, 
like you have to learn and go this can happen within a night or something you actually need a practice and now then why there are two exams elementary and intermediate both the exams so usually elementary is a first level where you will introduce with all the subjects where you will practice for these subjects and appear then for the intermediate you can give your more best than the elementary why because intermediate grade exams whatever grade you get that only considered for your future suppose you are getting grace marks suppose you are getting grace marks for standard 10 then for that also only intermediate grades are considered okay then even in future if you are going for any other art fields that time also your intermediate certificate will be considered so in both these exams elementary is important but an intermediate exam is more important it does not mean that you cannot appear for elementary and directly go to the intermediate it is always better to give elementary first to get the knowledge to get aware about how the exam happens and all and then appear for the intermediate grade exam now which are the topics how to practice and all i'm going to make a one more video based on that maybe next video based on the subject now we will see only about the introduction so the next point is uh, grades in and how they give the grades for this subjects uh, for this exams there will be four subjects and in this four subject you have to give your best because suppose in any one subject also if you are getting c then your grade comes down so that average they have to see and get the grade suppose you are getting a grade in intermediate then you get 7 marks if you are getting b then 5 marks and if you are getting c grade you will be getting 3 marks as your grace marks now what is this grace marks grace marks is the marks which you get or which marks will be added in your 10th standard certificate whatever marks you are getting in 10th and if you are getting a b c any one grade in the intermediate those marks will be added on yours in your total of the 10th standard is it only important to get grace marks or only this uh, is the benefit or what no not at all in case if you are thinking that after 12th or maybe after 10th you wanted to go for the fine arts then yes this is a compulsory to give these two exams so what certificate you get after the intermediate grade exam is compulsory for atd atd means what art teacher diploma then am art masters then any art related field like commercial art then the fine art interior designing architecture and so on so for all the art related field this certificate you must have but at the end i will tell you that art does not help only in the academics or only to get the grace marks you really need to learn you really need to do this to find a change in your life because the change is always positive it will really help you to be happy to feel relaxed and to enjoy yourself i think i have given required information next video we will see about what are the subjects for this exam and how to prepare even i am going to inform about the materials which material you can use and how to prepare for this